All right, what's up? I literally just filmed. Oh, j no, that was right. I did just film a video for my second channel, Boss. Go type in Boss, all caps. See if you can find it. I don't have very many subs on that channel yet. But hopefully this video, well, no, not this. Oh my God! Hopefully the video I just filmed for this for the. Hopefully the video that I filmed for the Boss channel. Will put me in some more subs, and you'll be able to find it. Jesus. Okay, anyway, this is my tips for starting BMX. Now, this can apply towards scootering, skating, rollerblading, r any, freaking anything. So, pretty much my advice is you got to know what bike to get or what whatever you're going to do. What to get. Honestly, if you're just starting out with zero skill, get something. Something that functions technically. So, you can start learning the basics. For a bike, you can start learning bunny hops, 180s, just the basic stuff. And then you can sell that. And then maybe you can get some hand-me-down parts, or you can start working and sell your bike and save up for the next, you know, a little bit better thing. And you just kind of work your way up. So after you started working and started learning tricks and worked your way up, you're slowly building into new bikes, and you're slowly building your your trick vocabulary, if you will. So you've you've got your stuff, you know what you're doing. The cool thing about BMX is you can take your career wherever you want. You can take it like me and can do the YouTube route and start your own brand. Or you can get sponsored by different companies and just build off them. You can do whatever you want. So right now, I'm going to talk about taking the YouTube route. Pretty much with YouTube, you just ride your bike with your friends. You hold up an iPhone, anything, an expensive camera, a cheap camera. Hold it up. Film whatever you want. You can film edits. You can film vlogs. You can film how-tos. Anything you want. Build your subscriber base. And then boom, you've already making a living out of that. If you want to talk about how to make money off YouTube, go subscribe to my boss channel. Go check that out. I'll put that the link in the description. That talks about how to make money on YouTube. Okay, so let's say, what happens if you build up your YouTube? Boom, sponsorships. Bike sponsor right there. Boom, you can start your own brand because people will like you enough and they'll buy your merchandise. BossInDustries.co. Buy my merchandise. So that's the road I'm taking. I'm building up my YouTube. I'm building up my fan base, building up my brand, and hopefully I'll get a bike sponsor and it'll all just build off itself. There's one career. But... If you want to do, like, be a professional rider and you're set on that, my best advice. Now, I've seen a lot of interviews. I've done a lot of research. I've seen a lot of success stories, heard them. And people, just go out and ride your freaking bike. Ride your bike, improve. And the thing is, a really big thing, yeah, it's all about skill, but it's also all about being a cool person. Because if you're a complete awkward douchebag, no brand's going to want to work with you. Because they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, yeah, he's good at riding, but he's a douche to all the kids at the skate park, so no one's going to buy his parts. Or no one's going to buy anything that we have to make for him, you know? In the bike industry, there's a lot of different ways to make money and make a living off of it. Now, it's not all about money, obviously, but you are going to have to make a living. Some pros, you know, they also have jobs. You can't just expect to get one small sponsor and be set for the rest of your life. Some people do that. They'll get one sponsor and they're done. That's all they do. Personally, in my opinion, I think... You should, if you're going that route, the route I'm talking about now, I think you should get a sponsor, work hard, keep pushing yourself, keep promoting, work with that brand as much as possible, grow, get more sponsors and more sponsors, and just grow into this super BMX, you know, like the super BMXer. So you just keep building off of, you pretty much branch out, you start with one brand, that opens up a lot more opportunities. You get that, and you can pretty much do whatever you want in the long run. So pretty much all just comes down to riding your bike every day, and don't be a dick. Okay, back to the YouTube thing. I know it's a little bit more complicated than I'm making it sound. Shout out to Chance Brown, go subscribe to his channel, and Evan Hartzell, go subscribe to his channel. Me and those other two dudes are just trying to push our luck on the YouTube world. We're filming every day with our cameras, We're riding bikes, having fun, being good people, trying to do, you know, whatever we can do to make it in the BMX world. We're young kids, and BMX is truly our future. This is really what we want to do, so you got to respect that. You got to subscribe to them, you know. Subscribe. <laughs> Freaking do whatever you want, man bugs so i encourage you to do the same thing and youtube it's really have you seen adam lz like okay he's good but okay no, no 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 no. have you seen john hicks okay i love john hicks best filmer of all time in my opinion but is he really deserved to be pro like yeah the dude's good yeah the dude's okay okay yeah the dude's good he's you know but i don't know if he's pro but the thing is another example is he's a good person and he has a great fan base on YouTube. Some people don't see that the right way. They're like, oh, 
he doesn't deserve to be pro whatsoever. So if I ask this question, does he deserve to be pro? Pro? I don't know. Pro? I, I don't know. But does he deserve to have sponsors? Hell yeah, he does. He's a super cool dude. He influences tons of people every day to go out and ride their bike, especially me. He inspires me to film the videos, grow my own YouTube career. He definitely deserves sponsors. But that's another thing. You could be pro without being pro, if that makes any sense at all. I'm not saying, like, John Hicks, you're freaking good, dude, but I mean. <sighs> Next thing. My best advice, I am totally winging and random freaking. I, I'm just spitballing here, man. This is li literally. This is off the top of my head. I didn't. I wasn't even expecting to make this video today, but I'm sitting in front of the camera from the video I filmed earlier, and I'm just kind of talking now. Let, let's see. Let's see. My my best advice on your route you should take in the steps. Let's go with what I'm doing. You get a bike. You hustle. You grind. You go. You ride every day. Film the journey along the way, so you're progressing, and your YouTube fan base is progressing. And maybe by the time you reach a professional skill level, you'll have a, a decent sized audience. And at that point, you can do whatever you want because you'll get brand deals. You'll be able to sell merchandise. You'll be getting AdSense revenue in all the millions of ways you can make money on YouTube. Honestly, it's just exposure is really what the YouTube thing is about. Because the more people, the more you upload, the more you film, the better content, the more people will watch it. More exposure, especially for companies. Companies will get on YouTube and they'll look for people and they'll find you. I know I'm kind of rambling, but at the same time, I feel like I'm kind of trying to get you to understand how important this YouTube thing is and how important not being a complete dick in the BMX world is. So be a good person, build your fan base, whether it's social media, whether it's YouTube, or going to contests. Oh yeah, that's something I didn't even cover. Another way... I. There's no contest around here, so this is totally out of the question for me, so I'm sorry if I didn't cover this whatsoever. Contests, yeah, if you're good and you go out and you ride, and you ride contests, you win money. Boom, there you go. That could pay some checks, and that can also get you some sponsors, because that's another thing about exposure right there. Boom. Freaking companies are standing on the sidelines, and you're winning money, and they're like, I need this dude on my team. I just got another comment. Shout out to Savage BMX. Always commenting in. Go subscribe. Okay, anyway. YouTube, contests, riding your bike every day and just getting a straight sponsor. Honestly, if you do all of these, you're set. Like, the sky's your limit. Just work every day. Even if you're 20 years old and you have a full-time job, go after. Hustle, man. Just do what you got to do. Life's too short to waste on not living out the dream, not living out the life that you really want to do. You know, you only live one time. Why waste it doing something you don't want to do? Do what you want to do. You just got to work hard for it. This video isn't for the lazy people out there. This video is for the people, my subscribers. You guys are not lazy. You guys are coming. You guys are subscribing. You're sharing. You're liking. This is for you guys. I'm trying to start your channel. I want you to comment below. I want you to say, yo, I followed your advice. I'm going to start my channel. And I'll subscribe to you. I'll talk to you about it. I'll give you my advice. And you can comment the questions you have. And I'll make more videos like this. I don't really care what they're about. I like to talk to the camera. And I like to talk to you guys. So hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Visit bossindustries.co, bossindustries.co. Until next time, peace.